Hello everyone and welcome back to Sports & Gadgets. The new Garmin Phoenix 7 Pro and Epix Pro smartwatches feature an LED flashlight with the ability to adjust brightness, strobe, color and activity settings, as well as an advanced adjustable display. By the way, we uploaded a full review of these new Pro models, where we discussed the new features, so check it out. You'll find the link to this review in the description to this video. So in this video, we'll provide you with detailed instructions on how to activate and utilize all the functions of the the flashlight, how to pair it with the smartphone, as well as a guide to the display settings. So to activate the built-in flashlight, simply press the light button twice in quick succession. To deactivate the flashlight, simply double press the button again. The flashlight is equipped with various functions that can be customized in the menu. Press and hold the light button to access the controls menu. Then select the flashlight icon by pressing the Enter button on the top right or by tapping it on the touch screen. By the way, if you don't see the flashlight in the control menu on your Garmin Pro, you will need to add it to access the settings. So, when you get into the flashlight mode, you'll see a four-level scale for adjusting the brightness of the flashlight using the up and down buttons or simply tapping the touch screen. And you can also switch to red light here. Now from the flashlight interface page, just press and hold the up button to open the flashlight menu. Then select strobe and you'll find different options for strobe patterns, so we can choose the one that suits your style or even create your very own strobe effect. Let's go back to the previous menu by pressing the back button located at the bottom right. Then scroll down and choose distress pattern. This feature will flash an SOS signal in Morse code and display your name and emergency contact information on the screen. You can add an emergency contact after pairing your smartwatch with the Garmin Connect app on your smartphone. Once you have downloaded the app, navigate to Garmin Devices. Then select Add Device. Choose your specific model from the list and wait for it to pair. Next, go to Safety and Tracking, then Safety Features. From there, you can select Emergency Contact and add the phone number and email of your designated emergency contact. Please note that the contact you choose will need to authorize their inclusion by confirming their phone number. They will receive a link that they must click on and follow the instructions to complete the process. Another handy feature that is available on all Garmin Pro models is the ability of the flashlight mode to detect your running pace and to act as a strobe light flashing in sync with it. To enable this feature, start by turning on the run activity, for example. Press and hold the up key on the middle left and choose run settings. Scroll down and select flashlight strobe. In the status menu, you can specify when to use the flashlight. You can set it to automatically activate the strobe light when running after sunset. After that, you can configure the flashing mode. To synchronize the flashing with your pace, select cadence mode. In other modes, you will have options to customize the flashing speed and color according to your preferences. Another feature that I'd like to highlight, especially for the new owners of Garmin smartwatches, is the auto backlight on a Phoenix 7 Pro model. By the way, you can find these new Pro models along with other Garmin smartwatches and GPS in our Sports & Gadgets store, the official retailer of Garmin products in the United States. You'll find all the links to Amazon and our website in the description of this video. When you unpack and turn on the Phoenix 7 Pro, you might notice that the screen looks quite dim as the brightness has been reduced. This is actually the auto backlight feature and we can turn it off. Just go to the system settings menu. Select backlight and in the desired mode, you can disable the auto backlight option and you can adjust the brightness according to your preference. The Apex Pro with its AMOLED display does not have this feature. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you found it helpful. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye.